Cynthia, so the project relates to water, right? First off, what university are you from and then what is your project? I'm from the University of Michigan and I'm with Wello. Okay, tell us about the project. Sure, Wello is a social venture that manufactures and distributes a water transportation tool called the water wheel. The water wheel? Uh, why would anyone need a water wheel? Why don't we just turn on the tap? So in developing countries, um, most people don't have access to clean water on tap. One in six people globally, um, in fact, don't have that kind of access. So um, the water wheel enables people to carry enough water to meet their daily needs. Uh, University of Michigan, that's one of the top business schools in the country. Um, why would you focus on a business that's at or near the bottom of the pyramid? Well, there's a huge need. Um, over a billion people in the world could benefit from using a product like the water wheel. And we have a business model that will get it into the hands of as many people as possible. So it's actually um, a fairly profitable business. So who else is on your team? It's myself and Colm Fay, who's another um, Herb Institute student with me. We're both getting dual master's degrees from the School of Business as well as the School of the Environment. In terms of how your water wheel actually works, physically, tell us how it works. Sure, it's, there's, it's pretty simple. It's three pieces, a drum, a handle, and a cap. You fill it up and roll it away. It's that simple. There's no owner's manual, there's no instructions, there's no training. Um, that's it. It holds 20 gallons, which is five times the amount possible than traditional methods, which is five gallons carried on the head. Uh, okay, so if I'm in rocky terrain or in rough terrain, does it work there too? Yeah, absolutely. It handles well on sand, over hills, over rocks. Um, the plastic isn't rigid. It actually kind of functions more like a skin. So it can, it can handle multiple types of terrain, and it's, it's very maneuverable. So have you been to a country itself that, uh, where you've seen women carrying water? I would say men, but I know that the men don't carry water, do they? Absolutely. I've lived in five or six countries and carried water myself, so I know how hard it is. So what was the idea? What made you say, I want to help develop the water wheel? Um, you know, simply seeing the tremendous burden it places on women and girls in particular. It takes up 26% of their time per day on average. They spend six to eight hours a day walking to collect water. Um, anywhere between four and six miles a day is a pretty normal trip. Um, and it, it really locks families in a cycle of poverty. Kids are staying home from school because they're collecting water. Women aren't doing anything more economically productive with their time. And it, it's, it locks them in poverty. Hey, now the competition itself. How has the Global Social Entrepreneurship Competition here at the University of Washington helped you, hurt you? How has it been? Oh, it's, it's been a tremendous help. It's been amazing to have such great resources to work with. First of all, um, our team mentor was fantastic and dedicated so much of his time and energy and expertise to the project, which has helped help us move it light years forward. Um, being Going through the process of developing the business plan and then having a, getting to spend a week pitching it and refining it has been invaluable. Thank you very much. Thank you.